Hello and welcome back to Simple Silicon. I'm your host, Dan. Today I'm going to review the bigger brother to the Elite Desk, which is my previous video, the 705G4 with a CD drive. Okay, so here on this throne of computers that I made is the 705G4. Um, very similar to the mini elite desk that only that doesn't have the cd drive so what we get with this one is power headphone um uh, lightning bolt uh usb uh so for your fast charging uh and then uh we have overall four type a ports the usb type c port um this little indentation uh, can be used for an SD card if that feature um, is available in your version. Um, I have some that have it, this one doesn't have it. In the back side, uh, we have four, five, six USB type A ports, gigabit uh, Ethernet. We have two display ports, and then of course your interchangeable port, which um, can be whatever you want serial. VGA, HDMI, DisplayPort, whatever. Just customize that at the factory. And two small form factor PCI Express um, that you can use whatever for. Uh, probably small graphics cards. Let's um, open her up and take a look inside. Opening the case is fairly easy. You have this little knob right here that you have to slide like this and then pull and the whole thing comes out like that. <clears throat> so here is the internal layout of this device. Much larger power supply. In fact, the power supply is internal, uh, as opposed to that mini desk. Uh, opening, everything is pretty toolless. All right, so to lift this panel up, we just have to first take off the front panel just like that set it aside and then this push this down comes right up this piece comes right out and this holds your cd drive as well as a hard drive up here notice they pre-thread a power cable for you um, that is handy but you will have to supply your own sata cable uh, our variant comes with two sticks of RAM, which is nice, but you have a full size 16 here. Um, we've got AMD, so we have a uh, stock cooler. Uh, this is AM4. Notice that uh, we are using NVMe for our boot drives. M.2, probably going to be using a Wi Fi card there with that. Um, although I did see a video where HP has released, I think it's HP, a one size uh, SSD that's one terabyte inside. So, you know, there's that. Uh, but for our model, they're just using a, a full size uh, M.2 for that. You can obviously, like I said, put in a hard drive. Uh, they route up uh, power and uh, you'll have to do another uh, SS or SATA cable. Notice that. Um, what kind of um, power we got here. We don't have that orange three, uh, was it 3.3 some odd volts? That's because HP is using a fully 12 volt power system. Uh, it is more efficient and um, the European Union was thinking of forcing it on everyone um, or the system, OEM system manufacturers. Um, so keep that in mind uh, when you're trying to upgrade stuff doesn't really matter. Uh, that just means it's proprietary power. So power goes into this. There is no 24 pin. You just got that. Power comes out and this is all you get pretty much. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple. So I guess the next thing I'll do is power it on and uh, go over the um, uh, what this particular model comes with and uh, what you can expect to get. I will say, <coughs> this particular configuration with our AMD processor, which I think is like the 
400G U. Don't quote me on that. But that's the one that I have at my desk right now, and, and they're all pretty much the same. Adore, for whatever reason, on all of these computers, I've been trying to run the Adobe uh, Media Encoder to code videos from time to time. And it just fails. It just locks up whenever you try to save the project. So I, I can't, I don't know why, but Adobe just doesn't like this particular model of HP computers. <laughs> And I've looked all over, and I can't find a solution to fix it. So and that's unfortunate. But 